recently received a really powerful letter from a juvenile lifer named Mamalu. And since I'm here, I really want to take the time to sit down with him and get to know his story a little bit better. Dear Kim Kardashian West, My name is Mamalu S.K. Stewart, and I'm a juvenile lifer. To not be misleading, know that I am guilty of the crimes I am convicted of. I have caused irreparable harm to the victim and his family, and I am fully aware that there is no way I can reconcile my mistakes. Today I'm a mentor. The young men tend to listen to me because they understand I've treaded a path of destruction and suffered because of its consequences. My only aspiration is to express my repentance by the lives I help to save. How long have you been in for? I've been incarcerated since I was 16 years old. I think that's like maybe 23 years now. And when I murdered this man, you know, a part of my spirit died as well. I'm not boasting about what I'm done. I am ashamed. I am embarrassed. Uh, I've gained humility but my mistakes has been lessons. So now the only way that I can reciprocate and give back life is by saving the young men life that's coming through this same ordeal. My dad would get intoxicated and he would hit my mother. So that weighed heavy on my mother, my mom's and her boyfriend. Uh, they murdered my father. How old were you? I was six. Wow. And I remember that night, I was laying in the bed, and I remember having a dream about him being murdered. So when my mother woke us up, I was already crying. And then the police came in and they extracted my mother from us. We moved in with my aunt and her husband. And uh, that situation was, was uh, horrific and traumatic. My uncle, he was on drugs real, real high, he smoked crack cocaine. This guy would be stealing out of the house, the microwaves, TVs, VCRs. He would uh, hit me with four sticks and tell me things like, I'm not shit, so you not you not gonna be shit. The situation only exacerbated. It got more violent. And I was like, okay, now at this point, I'm willing to face whatever I have to face in the streets than to be faced with what I gotta go through within this household. So when I was 14, I ran away. Mamalu is a guy that I really, really feel for um, hearing his story and his troubled relationship with his family and hearing his circumstances. It just seemed like he was just trying to survive. You know, you really have been through so much just as a kid and everything that you've seen. I couldn't imagine, you know, my kids having seen what you saw and what they would go through emotionally without like proper support and therapy and just people around you that cared. One thing I realized is that it's not so much that I endured it. I believe that it's the way that I've endured it. I am a mentor to young men from the ages of 18 to 25. It's a 24 hour job because like everything I see in them, I've seen in myself. Those young guys, they deal with a lot of trauma and I understand that trauma is the main impediment that causes us to be in that state of ignorance. When I speak to those young men down there, it's always about, look, we're not gonna use that as an excuse mm -hmm. to uh, perpetuate that type of mentality. We have to take responsibility and understand our duty as human beings. 